हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड डिस्कस्ड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेडिएशन रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द शॉर्ट इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दैट वीडियो आई हैड डिस्कस्ड वन स्मॉल कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू द पॉइंट सोर्सेस राइट सो आई हैव टोल्ड यू व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पॉइंट सोर्सेस पॉइंट सोर्सेस आर द वॉल्यूमलेस एमिटर्स व्हिच डज द वर्क ऑफ रेडिएटिंग द पावर ओके so it is in the form of point which is attached in the free space and it works under far field condition what it does is it enhances or it boosts the boosts the radiation in the dipole or an antenna okay so for that we have one simple concept if you, uh, in order to know that thoroughly that is called as power pattern and power theorem okay so that we are going to discuss in today's video that is power pattern and power theorem along with one Con small concept which is required that is left that is called as radiation intensity. So let us see that one by one. So starting from power pattern. So you see here this is one simple three-dimensional plot where I have uh, kept one uh, radial component that is uh, with respect to the pointing vector that is given by s suffix r. So that radial component for that I have drawn one line here and with respect to that the radial component is formed. and this is one point source which is kept in between the origin so that point source would be applicable would be playing a major role in order to produce the uh, spherical field components that is r theta and phi okay in this three dimensional figure this point source would be forming the angles of r so would be forming the angles of theta phi and the radial distance r so you see here let the point source be placed at the origin the energy radiated is in radial direction because we have one radial component with respect to pointing vector so the energy radiated would be in this radial direction so the time rate of energy flow per unit area is the pointing vector s which has which has only the radial component sr so the radial component present in case of the pointing vector is only sr we don't have any other component because those two other those other two components are given in terms of angles right so we have only one component that is the radial component because the energy radiated is only in the radial direction so that's why we could be writing directly the pointing vector s is equal to s suffix r okay a source that radiates energy uniformly in all direction is called as isotropic antenna or isotropic source so what do you mean by this sentence a source that radiates energy uniformly uniformly means at a constant rate without any change in uh, uh, the distribution the energy would be radiating in a constant manner okay the, those source which radiates the energy in all directions as mentioned here in this in this direction we have only radial direction but for all other directions Uh, such antennas are called as isotropic antenna or isotropic source so a graph of s suffix r at constant radius as a function of angle is called as power pattern okay so that's why this pattern whatever i have drawn with respect to the radial component of pointing vector this pattern is called as power pattern so in the three dimensional in 3d a power pattern is a sphere so this is not looking like a sphere but in if you observe in if you observe like some 3d model here i have drawn this in a two dimensional surface in this book right but if you observe in 3d in three dimensional way it would be somehow looking like a sphere okay if sr is expressed in terms of uh, webers per meter square then the graph is called as absolute power pattern okay yeah so this is all about the power pattern with respect to the point sources here so this is that point source which i was talking about which is uh, very very essential for the uh, improving the radiation purpose in order to enhance the uh, signal uh, signal flow in the dipole or the antenna okay so th uh, with respect to the power pattern i have kept the point source here and just analyzed this using the power pattern and we have got with some conclusions here okay so these things are important note it down now let us get to the concept of power theorem so power theorem says that the total power radiated by the source is the integral over the surface of the sphere of the radial component sr of the average pointing vector okay so the total power is given by p is equal to surface integral over a closed surface 
sr dot ds if you observe this very carefully this we have used in the derivation of the radiation resistance of short electric dipole right so this formula you see here we have used this we have taken it from this concept that is power theorem okay because for this we required that knowledge so that's why i have taken it first without uh, mentioning this what do you mean by it okay so now you see here this is called as power theorem that is here the total power radiated by the source is the integral over the surface that is you know that surface integral is the double integral and uh, of the sphere of the radial component here we should be considering only the radial component because in the power pattern we have seen only the radial component of pointing vector sr dot ds okay so where p is the power radiated sr is the radial component of pointing vector and ds is given by r square sin theta d theta d5 that is for the spherical coordinate system so for an isotropic source uh, this uh, radial component of pointing vector is given by this expression here this you need to be noting down that is uh, p is equal to so whatever the sr component is there i am taking that outside into surface integral over a closed surface ds is equal to sr into whatever the area of the sphere that you need to be taking that is 4 pi r square so therefore what would be the uh, our uh, radial component sr sr would be equal to p divided by 4 pi r square here why this 4 pi r square comes here because we have we are taking the area of the sphere here because we have concluded that in the power pattern in three dimensional uh, in three dimensional in 3d model it would be looking somehow like sphere right so that's why we should be taking the area of the sphere here directly and concluding this answer by saying that the radial component of pointing vector is equal to power associated with that divided by the 4 pi r square that is the area of the sphere okay so this was all about the power pattern now we have one small concept related to radiation intensity let us see that radiation intensity for that we should be knowing the component sr okay sr is given by in previously we have seen right p by 4 pi r square so now I am bringing r square to other side then we would be getting only p by 4 pi okay so this is called as the radiation intensity so p by 4 pi or it can be written as capital letter u here so this u I will call it as u because I have just uh, mentioned it like this because uh, it would be somehow different with the letter u so that's why I put two dashes here so that you would be understanding that this is the radiation intensity fact okay it is uh, expressed in terms of Weber's per steradian why steradian comes here because we are having the term 4 pi okay so this is called as the radiation intensity so now the total power radiated is given by the integral of radiation intensity over a solid angle of 4 pi so the this 4 pi is the solid angle with respect to the sphere and the total power radiated is given by the integral of radiation intensity okay yeah so that we are going to see in the upcoming videos where we are going to solve some problems on that uh, so from that it would be very clear what do you mean by this statement integral of radiation intensity okay yeah so we have two nodes here let us see that first node power patterns can be obtained in terms of pointing vector of radiation intensity that is first point then second point for an isotropic antenna p is equal to 4 pi u naught where u naught is the radiation intensity of an isotropic source so this formula also you need to be remembering because these formulas we are going to use in the problems which we are going to solve in the upcoming video okay yeah so yeah that's all for this video guys in this video we are discussed with the power source uh, sorry power pattern power theorem and radiation intensity so these concepts are important and uh, yeah in the next video we will solve some problems with respect to these uh, components with these concepts we are, which we have discussed now and we would be making you clear about what do you mean by radiation intensity okay so stay tuned for the next video that's all guys like this video subscribe to our channel thank you